So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this awesome looking crucible tree armor set and as you can see guys I literally have lugs growing out of my head, pretty cool. How's it going guys, my name is David Jane, if you enjoyed the video leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I also forgot to mention this thing comes with a quite a decent weapon too, ba ba boom people. Okay so. I know this is an armor set a few people will have already had. I know there's a couple of other crucible sets in the game. But because this one's from an area, I actually don't have to go to. And if you go to the area, you can easily miss this dude. So hey, that's why I'm bringing you today's video. So the weapon is called the Salurius Tree. This uh, requires 27 in strength, 13 in dexterity, and 20 in that faith. A decent and unique great spear for sure the armor looking absolutely incredible as far as i'm aware it doesn't offer anything in particularly great besides its amazing looks but hey either way guys it's a decent weapon i'll show you how power i mean like i ain't set up for anything faith really i mean i've got a couple of things on but nothing crazy compared to i know a lot of those faith builds out there will make this even better but hey guys we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here I'm probably just going to get my ass kicked. Uh, so let me just try and take one of these guys out. And I'll show you the location and where I can get this from. Okay, so let me lock onto you. And I'm going to go for your ankle like a little nappy dog. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I've obviously tried much more powerful weapons here. I'll poke you. Yeah. I will poke you. Yeah. He's burning me. He's burning me, people. Yeah, get, get, get down. Get, get down now. I'm like... Do you over, bitch? Ba Boom! And as for your mate, as who you looking at? Who you looking at, boy? Who you looking at? You know, for a second, and I thought he just fell over. <laughs> oh no, he's burning me! He's burning me, people! He's burning me! He's gonna kill me, people! He's gonna kill me! Nope, 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 nope. Ba Boom! Hey, it's got like a follow-up attack. Actually, let me have a look at that. So we get the floor. Oh, I see. Another part comes out of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I see. So it's got like a little bit of an air of effect to it. Not bad. Okay, so where this is obtained from, you need to have access to the deep root depths. And there's an enemy, a boss, I think is around here. It's literally in this area here. And I'll show you exactly how to get here from the very first grace point you come into. You just run around, guys, avoiding a few enemies and come up to here. But yes, to gain access to the deep root depths, guys, you need to first defeat Radan. Right here. Once you do that, you can come across to this grace point here, Fort Height West. I know many, many people will have already done this. You come here, guys, and make your way underground, and you end up in Nokron Eternal City. You'll have to come around, guys. The Mimic Tier you'll have to take out. Ain't the hardest boss in the world. Actually, quite easy. Take him out. You follow your way around and you need to get to the twin gargoyles. These bosses can be a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie. But once you take these out, guys, and if you're still unsure of where I'm talking about, if you just search twin gargoyle, uh, actually, you know what? I've actually made a video already of how you get here. Yeah, and I'll link that down below. So if you want to get to the deep root depths, I'll link my video down below. Quickly check it out. There's a timestamp of exactly where you need to go and what you need to do. So, yes. Uh, but either way, defeat the twin gargoyles. There'll be a, a tomb at the end of the room. Go into the tomb, you'll end up right here, where you'll see me on screen now, guys. And follow the path I take. You will have to take out one of these crucible bosses. Um, once you take him out, there will be a chest behind him as well to get the uh, the armor. He drops the weapon, the armor is from behind him. And there we have it, guys. This is how you get this amazing armor set. Very easily missed, a great weapon too. And well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of me, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.